Welcome back everybody to part 5 of Adrift. You're here with me, Coax47. Our last, uh, last episode is quite interesting, huh? Oh, alright. Some of you didn't see it? Alright, well, get back there and watch it. Come on. Follow along, people. Follow along. Oh man, it's incredible. But yeah, you, I mean, come on, some of you guys, right? You got to agree with me. When all the bit, all the debris and stuff. I think I've said this now about six times, but it's, it's just because I keep on forgetting. I keep on, I keep on going through it over and over and over, and I keep on forgetting that I've done it. But all the debris should make noise on the visor. Should come on, I get a bum, like pit, pit, pat, pit, pat, like little, little rustling noises. Our projections and data indicate that well hand for spiritus extraction is a success. Resource production is behind, and we are at risk of not meeting our dedicated supply and surplus needs. Really? I know your natural instinct is to be creative Whoa. in the face of failure, but now is not the time for disruption. It is imperative that you follow protocol and procedure in order to meet our goals, ensure the success of the mission, and guarantee the safety of your crew. Do not let me down and prove your critics right. Okay. I won't. I promise. Oh, this looks spooky. Wonder if all my suit will glow red and stuff as I go through. Oh, it does. Look at that. It does. Cool. Oh my God, Earth looks. Earth looks large. Well, you gotta go all the way over there. Whoa, look at the size of that space station. Look at the piece of that. Let's go and explore that. I think that's where I gotta go. That's incredible. Look at the size of that. Happy days. That on your hand. Oh, wow. Look at that. Wow, that's absolutely gorgeous. 10 out of 10, people. 10 out of 10. All the lights. Like, of all the cities and all the streets and everything. Oh, wow. It just leaves that glow there, like. That's so cool. A giant floating ball. Look at it. What is this giant floating ball? I need to get that air lock up there. It looks all smashed to pieces, but I think that's where I gotta go. I don't know if I'm going to make it out here. Is that a sheep? There's a sheep out here. No, there's no, I don't think it's a sheep. Uh oh. <gasps> really? Yeah. Yes. Um, I'm I'm alive. I'm flying around space. I may not sound like a woman right now. Uh, but I don't know how long I'm going to be alive for. I can't quite concentrate with all the music playing in the background. Come on, love. Come on. I can't wait to get boost or thrust or whatever it is so I can just, like, zoom there, like... Oh, I'm going in too, that's so cool. Look at the size of that thing. Oh, what? Oh my god, I could just stay out here until my oxygen depletes and just look at all that stuff. Come on, come to be, come to be. There we go. Wow, look at all that. What's that line going around it? The ozone layer. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, this is absolutely fun, fantastic. This is, and, I, and I'm saying how good it is because I, I just know the feeling I'm gonna get from playing this with the VR, and it's just going to be like a whole other ballpark. It's just gonna be absolutely mind blowing. It's gonna feel like you, because that's the whole point of it. It's to make you feel like you're there. So it's. 
I'm mesmerized now. <sighs> Hello. Yes, come on, you can do it. This is great. Good. Cool. Look at that, you just wrecked the ship. <laughs> 